Hi, Maria Elena. Hi, Maria Elena, how are you? Hi, teacher. Good night. Can you hear me? No lo escucho, Marilyn. No sé si mi micrófono está fallando. Ah, ya sé que está fallando. Sí. Creo que ahora sí. Hi, Marilyn. Hi, teacher. How are you? How are you? Are you fine? Hi. Hi, Marilena. Is everything okay? Are you fine? No escucho. No sé qué pasa. No me escucha. Okay. Hi. Ahora sí. Ahora sí. Ah, okay. <laughs> Good night. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. <laughs> eh, eh, fine. <laughs> okay, nice, nice. Okay. And you? I'm okay, I'm fine. A little, um, I am a little uh, tired and also worried because I work in the university and now I don't have students for tomorrow. <laughs> ah, mm -hmm. yeah. Me too. Yeah. Uh, but I I don't go the university, but uh, I tired. Okay. Yeah. I think everybody works, and uh, and uh, yeah, you know, the whole day is very long, and then when you go home, maybe you want to sleep, but you have English classes. <laughs> Okay, so okay. yeah, mm -hmm. I'm travel in uh from San Salvador, Zacatecoluca, mm -hmm. and me llevo dos horas. Two hours. <laughs> Two hours. Two hours in in the traffic. In the traffic. <laughs> yeah, I know that's horrible. In my case, sometimes I do one hour and a half, and it is from Santa Ana to Metapan. Okay, so uh, but sometimes the traffic is very difficult in 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 the uni in the university because you know many people are coming from work and you know traffic and maybe an accident. So sometimes okay. it is very difficult. Mm -hmm. But we are here. Yeah, we are here. Thank you, Maria Elena. Hi, Mary. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And right. about you? I'm fine, I'm fine. I was telling Maria Elena that I'm a little tired because tomorrow I'm, a, I'm not going to have students. <laughs> so I need to work in the, in the computer a lot tomorrow because we are not going to have students because of the... Uh -huh because of the quarantena. By the way, I don't know how to say quarantena in English. Let me look at that. <laughs> yeah, I was uh, I was thinking about, Yeah, no, in English. Let's see how quarantena is in English. <laughs> okay, hi, Luis. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Nice, nice. Thank you so much for joining us. And hi, Margarita. How are you? Good evening. Hi, teacher. Fine, thanks. Excellent. Nice to see you again. Okay. I think it's quarantine. Yeah, quarantine. Yeah. Let me see the pronunciation. Quarantine. Quarantine. Yeah. 
quarantine. Ah, quarantine. That's how you say quarantena in English. Yeah. Quarantine. 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 Uh -huh. It is pretty similar. It is pretty similar. Okay. So thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. Okay. Um, may have you may have a good evening and uh, today we will continue practicing what we saw yesterday. Okay. Um, we're going to do a couple of practices and then we're going to see the topic from today. Okay. So, uh, okay. have you had the opportunity to be in the platform? ¿Han tenido la oportunidad de, de revisar la plataforma? Yes, teacher, but I have a problem with the, the answer, with the question, the answer. In which section? I don't know why. Uh, I don't remember when to, at uh, the confusions, I think, the when conjunction. you use, um, uh -huh. yes, yes, yes. Uh, I think that everybody has problems with this part. When you write in or but? Yeah. Ah, okay. I don't know why. Are you using the comma? Yeah, and the point. And I tried the different way and only have three goods and the other bad. Which ones are incorrect? Uh, I don't remember that right now. Mm -hmm. I don't remember right now, teacher. Okay, yeah. I can't. And in the case of though and however, are you using it in the middle or at the end? Always at the end. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We will have to see. Uh, you need to check and maybe you can tell me in a chat uh, which, okay. uh, which, which is the number that you're having problems with, okay? Maybe okay. it is a little comma or something that is missing or I don't know, something. Oh, for the point and other things. Yeah, or the period, yeah, sometimes. Yeah, sometimes okay. it, it is a little detail, okay? It is a little detail. So don't worry, okay? Don't worry. Okay, okay. What about the others? Have you been practicing people in the platform? In the case of Margarita, have you checked yeah. the platform, Margarita? Hey, no, okay. no problem. Okay, perfect. I have heard also Luis and also Pedro. Hi, Pedro. Hi. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine, and you? I'm fine. Um, and uh, I put in the platform is uh, difficult for this using, but I imagine it's the, the, the structure but it's possible in to uh, to make different uh, alternatives and, and prove. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But um, do you have a specific exercise in which you have problems or what? No, teacher, because I I have to uh, prove in the in the factory and some break and ah, okay. only. Quickly, on uh, that. Uh, tomorrow, oh. too intense, too, uh, too much time. Okay, okay, yeah. Tomorrow, if you can check it, and if you have a problem there with any exercise, you can send me a message, okay? And I can help you with that part, okay? And let's see, Saida. Hi, Saida. Okay. How are you? Hi, teacher. Fine, thank you. Excellent. Nice to have you back. And one more time, a nombre de inglés corporativo. Thank you so much uh, for joining us. Okay. Thank you for making the time. And we are going to continue with uh, yesterday's class. So remember that we are playing Stop the Bus. Okay. Stop the Bus. Yes. So get ready with your paper and your pen or pencil because we are going to continue with other letters. Okay. Okay. Remember, when you finish, uh, you need to uh, you need to activate your microphone, and then you need to tell me stop the bus. Okay. Ahí están. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So uh, remember, um, you need to tell me stop the bus. Okay. 
So let's see. The letter will be letter. Mm -hmm. Letter. Let me look for a different. Ah, just, <laughs> just kidding. Let's see. No, easy. Easy yeah, teacher. Easy. Okay. Letter C. Okay. Letter C. Go for it. Letter C. Okay. I'm going to put you in silence. And when you finish, make sure that you tell me, teacher, stop the bus. Okay. Remember, we have name, last name, object, okay, object. Remember that an object can be a thing, for example, uh, a, a, I don't know, a sofa, a house, okay, but it has to begin with the letter C, okay? Stop letter the bus. Oh, stop the bus. That was quickly. Nice. Yes. Nice, nice. Okay. So everybody stop the bus, no more writing, no more writing, okay. And let's see, okay, let's see. Saida, tell me the name, please, with letter C. Carolina. Carolina, okay. Pedro? Charlie. Charlie. Uh, Mary? Carmen. Carmen, okay. Uh, Margarita? What? Name. Uh huh. Name. Uh huh. Cameron. Excuse me. Cameron. Cameron. Yes. Okay. And Luis. Camila. Camila. And Maria Elena. Carlos. Carlos. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So ten points for everybody. La repetimos, verdad? So, mm -hmm. 10 points for everybody. Okay, last name. Let's see. Saida? Carranza. Carranza. Okay, <laughs> nice. Um, Mary? Mary. Last name? Carranza. Carranza. Carranza, too. Okay. Carranza. Okay, Margarita? Sí, Carranza, too. Campos. Okay. Uh, let's see. Luis? Castro. Castro, okay, nice. Pedro? Castro. Castro, okay, five points for Castro and five points for Carranza. Let's see who's missing. <coughs> Maria Elena, I think. Maria Elena? Cartagena. Cartagena, okay, nice. Okay, so Castro and uh, Carranza, you have five points, okay? Five. Campos? Five. Uh -huh. Five points. And the original ones, they have 10 points. Okay. Let's see. Object. Object. Side down. Calculator. Calculator. Excellent. Pedro? Carter. Carter. Where is a Carter? Carter is a part in the car. Ah, okay. Nice. Nice. <laughs> uh, Mary? Candle. Candle. Yes. Yeah. Okay, Margarita. Capital. No, oh, capital. Ah, uh, Luis. I have car. Car. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Car. Nice. And Maria Elena. Car. 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 Okay, five points for yeah. car. Car. Sorry. Five points for car, and then the rest, mm -hmm. ten points. Okay, ten points. Fruit or vegetable? Saida. Coconut. Coconut. Pedro. It's the same coconut. Coconut. Okay. Uh, Mary. Carrot. Carrot. Okay. Nice. Margarita. Cherry. Cherry, nice. Luis? Cherry. Cherry. Cherry, five points for Cherry. And Maria Elena. Carrot. Carrot. Yeah. Okay, so five points for Carrot too, okay? So 
Five yeah. points for everybody. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Verb in the past. Verb in the past. Saida? Cooked. Cooked. Okay. Mary? Come. Come. In the past? Came. Oh. Ah, came. Okay, nice. Came. Margarita? Came. Came. Uh -huh. Pedro? I put a cook. Cooked. Uh -huh. Cooked. Luis? Cooked. Cut. Cut. Cut? C O U G H T. Ah, cut. Uh -huh. Cut. Yeah. Okay. And Maria Elena? Cook. Excuse me? Cook. Cooked. Okay. So, cow, sorry, cut. You have 10 points and the rest, five points. Okay. Five points. Adjective. Let's see. Adjective. Saida. Curly hair. Curly. Uh huh. Margarita. Cyan. Cyan. Yeah. Color. Uh huh. Cyan. Cyan. Okay. Nice. Cyan. Um, let's see. Mary. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. Uh huh. Pedro. I put the same crazy. Crazy, okay. Five points for crazy. Luis? I don't have anything. You don't have anything? All right. And Marielena, what do you have? Careful. Careful, okay. Nice. So, uh, if you listen to the same one, you have five. Otherwise, you have ten, okay? And the last one, country. Saida? Canada. Canada. Pedro? Canada too. Canada, <laughs> five points. Okay. Uh, Mary? Colombia. Colombia. Uh, Margarita? Canada. Canada. Okay, Luis? I have Cuba. Cuba. Okay. And, yeah. uh, and Maria Elena? Cameron. Cameron, okay, perfect. So I think we have only five points for uh, Colombia, right? Canada. No, ah, Canada. Canada, 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 Canada. Okay, perfect. And the rest, 10 points, okay, 10 points. Nice. Remember to take out the total, the total points for letter C. Saquen el total for letter C. And now we go with the last letter for today. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Better. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I have that one already. R, okay. R, go for it. R. I'm going to silence the microphones and when you finish, remember you need to say stop the bus. Okay? Stop the bus. Okay, Margarita, you want to say something? No. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. 
I thought you were moving your lips like when you say stop the bus. Mm. <laughs> okay. All right, 30 seconds more, people. 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, stop the bus, everybody, stop the bus, okay, let's see how everything goes, okay, let's see, name, we're going to start with name, let's see, Margarita, what do you have? Rosalia. Rosalia, <laughs> nice, Pedro, uh -huh. Rodrigo, Rodrigo, María Elena, Yeah, Mary Elena? Robert, okay. Uh, Mary? Rita. Rita, okay. Luis? Raul. Raul, and Saida. René. René, okay, nice. 10 points for everybody, okay? 10 points for everybody. Let's see, last name. Last name, let's see. Luis, what do you have? I have Ruano. Ruano, okay. Pedro? Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Mary? Ramirez. Ramirez. Saida. Ramos. Ramos. Eh, Margarita? Ramos. Ramos. Ah. Oh, five points for Ramos. <laughs> en María Elena. Excuse me, María Elena. Renderos. Renderos. Okay, perfect. You have 10 points. Okay, we have five points only for Ramos. Object, object, let's see. Uh, Margarita, what do you have? Radio. Radio, okay, Pedro? Ruler. Ruler, uh, Mary? Ring. Ring, okay, uh, Saida? Ruler. Ruler, five points for ruler. Uh, Saida, you told me ruler, right? Mm -hmm. Luis? This object? Rainbow. Rainbow, uh -huh, nice. And Maria Elena? A revolver. Ah, revolver. Hmm, I will say yes, okay? I will say <laughs> yes. Yeah, let's see, yeah. let's see. Fruit or vegetable, Pedro? I don't know. <laughs> you don't have, you don't have, Luis? No, no I don't have. I don't have. No, Maria Elena. Mary? I don't have teacher. You have? Uh, it, I'm sorry, a uh, vegetal? Is uh, uh, radish? Radish, yes. Radish is rabano in English. Okay, radish. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Radish, okay. Margarita? Raspberry. Ah, raspberry, excellent, okay. And Saida? I don't have. You don't have, okay, so 10 points for Margarita and Marielle. <coughs> okay. Radish and raspberry. Verb in the past, let's see, Margarita. What? Verb in the past. Ah, read. Read, in the past it would be red. Uh -huh. Red. red. Uh -huh. red. Pedro? Run. Run, Marilena. Reaper. Excuse me? Rip Red, which repair. is the bad. No, repair. Ah, repaired. Okay, repaired. Uh -huh. Okay, uh -huh. nice. Uh, Mary? Run, teacher. Run, five points for run. 
Luis. Rest. Rest. Okay. In the case will be rested. Okay. In the past, rested. And okay. Saida? Run. Run. Five points for run then. Okay. Adjective. Let's see. Pedro, adjective? I don't have it. You don't have? Luis? Rarely. Excuse me? Rarely. <laughs> Ready. Or red, the color. Rarely. Ah, uh, rarely. A, B, yeah. Rarely is Rarely. an adverb. It is not an adjective. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. So, yeah, in that case, I cannot give you the points. Marilena? Uh, refreshing. Refreshing. Nice. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, Mary? I don't have, teacher. You don't have? Okay. Uh, Margarita? Relaxed. Relaxed. Okay, and Saida? Mm, no, I don't have. You don't have? Oh, okay, no worries. Rich? No, it's adjective. Yeah, rich is adjective. Ah, rich. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, it's, an, it's a description of a person. Yes. Okay. Okay, and finally, country, Luis. <sighs> Russia? Russia. Or okay. Russia. Uh huh. Russia. Russia. Marilena? Russia. Russia, five points, Russia. Mary. Romania. 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 Mm. Okay. Uh, Saida? Republic Dominicana. Ah. The, right. In English, is the Dominican Republic. It's the, it's the opposite. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, that's with the letter D. Um, <laughs> Margarita? Romania. Excuse me? Romania. Romania. Five points for Romania. And Pedro? Russia. Excuse me? Russia. Russia. Okay, yeah. Five points for Russia. Then. Okay? Perfect. All right. So tomorrow we're going to play the last one. Okay? Tomorrow is the last class of the week. So tomorrow we're going to play the last one. Okay? So let's go back to what we were learning yesterday. Um, yesterday we did a little practice on how to use adverbs and adjectives together when we are describing a person, a country, or an object, okay? Remember that we can use uh, these ones. We were learning how to use extremely, very, really, pretty, fairly, and somewhat, okay? Also, we learn how to use to, which is more of what you want, okay? For example, my, you can like the coffee and you like it hot, but right now my coffee is too hot, okay? It is more than I want. My brother is too tall, okay? Uh, my soup is too sour. My tea is too cold. My hair is too long, okay? Or too short, the opposite, okay? Also, uh, we learn how to use so, which is a synonym of extremely or very, okay? My mother is so beautiful. She's so happy. My family is so united, okay? This is what we were learning uh, yesterday. Also, we were learning how to use conjunctions, okay? Conjunctions. We use conjunctions to join uh, two different ideas or two different sentences, okay? Uh, we were learning how to use end. We said that we need two positive ideas together or two positive uh, sentences together or two negative sentences together, okay? And I have a couple of examples. My car is new and it is fast. Or my car is old and it is slow, okay? Now, what happens if I want to join a negative idea with a positive idea or a positive idea with a negative idea? In that case, I need to use but, okay? But, my car is new, but it is slow. My house is beautiful, but it is dirty, okay? So this is how we join a negative, and a positive idea. 
also we were learning how to use though and however, okay? Though and however are synonyms of but, okay? But, um, they are synonyms, okay? It is the same, uh, the same meaning, okay? And I'm going to join a positive idea with a negative idea. The only difference is that if you see but is in the center, okay? In the center of the sentence. In the case of though and however, I need to have them at the end, okay? My car is new. It is slow though, okay? Over here we have some important uh, punctuation, okay? In the case of but and end, I need to use a comma before I use the word. And in the case of though and however, I need, I need to have a complete sentence, period, then a complete sentence, comma, and then the word though and period, okay? My house is beautiful, it is dirty though, or it is dirty however, okay? Though, however, though, and however, okay? Those are the two words, uh, well, four words that we have seen so far, okay? Right now we're going to have a conversation about a different topic, okay? So listen to me, and then I will ask you to help me with uh, this conversation. Oops, that's too small, okay? Here we have it. All right, listen to me, it says, uh, can you tell me a little bit about Mexico City? Sure, I can. What would you like to know? Well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. What should I see? Well, you should definitely visit the, the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And, and what else? Oh, you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. It's very interesting. It all sounds really interesting, okay? It all sounds really interesting. Okay, one more time. Can you tell me a little bit about Mexico City? Sure, I can. What would you like to know? Well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And what else? Oh, you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. It's very interesting. It all sounds really interesting. Okay. Do you see any new word, a word that you don't know? A word that you see for the first time, can you tell me? And I can and I can help you with the meaning. Okay. So if you have a question, activate your microphone. Okay. All right. Now uh, we are going to practice in pairs. Okay. Let's see. Luis, you're going to practice with Mary. Okay. One person does uh, letter A and, well, Luis, letter A, and Mary, letter B, okay? Let's do it. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Mm -hmm. Mary, okay. Sure, uh, uh, wait, yeah. I have, okay. Sure, I can. What would you like to know? Well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And uh, what should I see? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And what else? Oh, you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. It's very interesting. It all sounds really interesting. Okay. Perfect, thank you. Thank you. Marilena, you're going to help me with letter A. And uh, let's see, Margarita, letter B, please. 
Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure. I can. What would you like to know? Well, what's a good time of to visit? I think you can to go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fire Art, Fine Arts. And what else? Mm -hmm. Oh, you should means the pyramid of the sun. It's very interesting. It also really interesting. Interesting, excellent. Thank you. Interesting, interesting. Okay, thank you. Let's see, Pedro, you are letter A and I don't know what happened with Saida. And she's, maybe she had a problem with uh, with the computer, so I'm going to be letter B, okay? Uh, and Pedro, letter A. Mm -hmm. Pedro, I think you need to activate your microphone. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. Oops. Ah, okay. I yeah, can. there you go. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure, I can. What would you like to know? Well, What's a good time to visit? I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see? Well, you should definitely visit the, mu the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And what else? Mm, oh, you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. It's very interesting. It all sound really interesting. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Right? Good. <laughs> so, today we're going to learn how to use can and should, okay? Can and should. So, we call these can and should models, okay? We call it models. You know, can is when you have an ability, okay? Or, um, yeah, sometimes you use it uh, for abilities, okay? However, sometimes you can also use it for uh, describing things that you are able to do, okay? Things you are able to do, okay? For example, if you have money, you can buy a car, okay? You are able to buy a car, okay? If you have a lot of money, you can buy a house, okay? It is not a, a it's not an ability. It's something that you are able to do. Okay, you can do it because you have money. Okay, so that's how we use can. Okay, can. Don't tell me can. Okay, can is, for example, when you drink a Coca Cola. Okay, the red the red container is a can. Okay, on a lata. In this case, the verb is called can. Can in this specific in this specific case. Okay. Also, we have the word should. Okay. Should. Let me write the pronunciation here. Oops. Should. Okay. Should. should. What is the meaning of should? Should is for suggestions. Okay. Suggestions. for suggestions, okay? We use that for suggestions. For example, if I am sick, I should go to the doctor, okay? I should go to the doctor. That is my recommendation or suggestion, okay? Suggestion or recommendation, okay? So if I am sick, I should go to the doctor, okay? Or if my mother is, is sick, she has to go to the doctor, okay? She should go to the doctor, okay? And if your car is not working, 
you should take your car to the mechanic, okay? That is a suggestion, that is a recommendation, okay? And in the case of can, things that you are able to do, you can do them because you have the money, because you have the knowledge, or because you have the capacity to do it, okay? So, and we can play with both of them, okay? We can play with both of them, and we can say uh, many, many sentences. For example, I can, uh, I can buy a new car, okay? I can do it. I mean, if I have money, I can do it, okay? What about if it's another person? I can say she can buy a house, okay? She can buy a house. Now, remember, uh, sometimes we change the verb. For example, in third person singular, if I say she buy a house, she buy a house is incorrect. I need to say she buys a house, okay? She buys a house. In this case, I am using can. So if I use can, I can change the verb, okay? The verb is the same, okay? It's the same. Also, some people uh, like to do this. For example, some people like to say this, she can to buy a house. No, this is impossible, okay? This is something that you shouldn't do, okay? You shouldn't do, she can to buy a house? No, that is a mistake. After can, you need to use the, the verb, the normal verb, okay? Don't write ing, don't write to, okay? It has to be the same, okay? Hay muchas personas que cuando están diciendo oraciones con can, eh, le ponen el to al verbo, y eso está incorrecto. Porque ya cuando ponemos can, eh, no es necesario poner ni s, ni cambiar el verbo, ni nada por el estilo. Okay? Siempre va a ir así de manera normal. Okay? She can buy, she can dance, she can play video games, she can play, or she can use the computer, she can take a picture, okay? et cetera. Okay? etc. So try to remember that, please, okay? Tratemos de acordarnos de esa pequeña regla para no cometer los errores, okay? Everything in the normal way. Mm -hmm. Everything in the normal way. What about the negative part of this? What about the negative part? Oh, what is the, what is the negative of can? Do you know? I can. Uh-huh, I can't buy a new car okay so this is the opposite okay something that you are not able to do okay or it is not an ability that you have okay for example can you dance people can you dance in a party yes yes i can okay yes i can or there are some people that say no teacher i can't okay no i can't okay so it depends it depends on, on, on you, okay? What about she can buy a house? What is the negative? She can buy a house. What is the negative for him? She can't. Uh-huh, okay, she can. Buy a house. Uh-huh, she can't buy a house, okay? So that is not uh, her possibility. She is not able to do it, okay? because maybe she doesn't have money, okay? Or she, she doesn't want to do it, okay? She can't buy a house, okay? Now, I'm going to ask you one question and you're going to tell me uh, some complete sentences, okay? Some complete sentences. For example, I have the question here. What can I do on vacations, people? Let's say that on Saturday, I will have vacations. So what can I do on vacation? Can you give me some things or you can tell me some things that I am able to do on vacation? You can what? You can rest. Oh, you can rest, excellent. Uh-huh, another one. It can be affirmative or negative, okay. For example, teacher, you can't work, okay. You can't work on vacations, okay? Because you're on vacations, uh-huh. What else? <laughs> mm -hmm. You can you travel. You can go to the beach. 
Ah, you can travel, you can go to the beach. Uh -huh. You can sleep. You can sleep, okay. What about negative? Can you tell me you something can. that I can't do on vacations? You can get up early. Excellent, you can't get <laughs> up early yet. Okay, no teacher sleep, okay? Because it is your opportunity, yeah. it's vacations. <laughs> What else? What is something else that I can't do on vacation? <laughs> For example, now I can't go to the bathroom. Ah, okay, I can't go to the bathroom. Yeah, right now you can't, <laughs> okay? I mean, yes, you can, if you need to go. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. But right now, yeah, uh-huh, all right, okay? So those are some uh, sentences that you can tell me using can, okay? Remember, some modules ago, you learned how to say, I can dance, I can speak English, I can do this and this and that. But also you can use can for things that you are able to do, okay? Things that you are able to do. For example, yeah, teacher, you can, um, you can get up early. Sorry, you can't get up early, you can travel, okay? So those are some things that I, that I can do, okay? It is not necessarily my ability. It is my capability because I have money, because I, I am the boss, okay? So the company can be, we, can be good without my help, okay? But that is how we use that, okay? Now, let me write some examples using should, okay? As I told you, should is for suggestions or recommendations. Okay, and just like in can't and can, it is not necessary that I use, uh, that I change the verb, okay? The verb is going to be the same. For example, I should, um, I should buy a new car. No, I'm, I'm going to use a new word. I should buy a new cell phone, okay? I should buy a new cell phone. What about another person? I think my father should, um, should fix the car, okay? Because I cannot do it, okay? He, he should do it, okay? What about negative? What do you think? I should buy a new car, a new cell phone. What is the negative of should, do you know? I, I should, should. Yeah, we have two options. You can say shouldn't. Should. Okay. Shouldn't. Or should not. And I should not. Okay. Oops. Should not. Okay. We have two options there. We can say shouldn't or should not. Okay. Buy a new cell phone. What about my father should fix the car? What do you think? Mm -hmm. What is the negative? My my father should not fix the car. Okay, excellent. My father should not fix the car, okay? If you see, I am using the verbs in the normal way. I don't need to change anything. I don't need to uh, include any special word, okay? Only should or can, okay? Now I have another question for you here. Okay, I have some examples there. I'm not going to use this anymore. So let's see. What should I do with $1,000, people? What should I do with $1,000? That's a lot of money. So what should I do? What do you think? I, I should travel. Ah, I should travel to what country? Not China. To, no, no, China, no. <laughs> to Colombia. Okay, nice. Okay. I should travel to Colombia. Uh -huh. What else? Oh, by, by the way, I shouldn't travel to China. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, nice. Another example? What things should I do? Or sh I shouldn't do with one thousand dollars. 
I should buy a computer. Ah, nice. I should buy a computer. And a la laptop. A laptop, okay. Yeah, a new laptop. laptop. Yeah, okay. Laptop, a computer or a laptop. Uh huh. Another. I should buy a TV. Ah, okay. I should buy a, a TV. A big TV, I guess, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. I should um, drink liquid for the flu. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I should drink liquid for the flu. Okay. Nice. What else? What should I do or what should I shouldn't do with $1,000? I should buy a new guitar. Ah, okay, I should buy a new guitar. Okay, perfect. Okay, nice. So if you see, that is how we use can and should for uh, answers, okay? And for sentence. I have uh, two. Uh, I have two sentences here. Uh, you should go to a restaurant with your family, or you shouldn't. You shouldn't keep it in your house, you know, because there are some people. Um, I know sometimes there are some people stealing money from your house, so you shouldn't keep it in your house. Maybe in the bank, right? But not in your house. In your house, it's kind of dangerous. Okay. All right. I have another question. Oh no, I don't. Okay. Anyway. All right, do you have any questions about using can or should? Mm -hmm. Now that we are in the, in the quarantine for coronavirus, can you tell me some recommendations what I should do or shouldn't do? Because there are some people saying some things that we should do or we shouldn't do, okay? So let's try to make a list of things that we should do in order to avoid being infected. For example, I should wash my hands regularly, okay? Oops, regularly. What else? I should use a mask N95. Okay, I should wear a mask uh -huh, wear a mask uh -huh. Uh -huh. okay n n uh -huh. 95 and what n leather n leather n mask uh mask n leather n 95 95. Yes, N95. Oh, that's the type. Mm hmm. It's a, ah. it's a style. Ah, okay. So that's a type of, of mask that you should mm -hmm. wear. Okay, okay, nice. Good information. I didn't know that. <laughs> okay, what else? I should, should them, should not. Um, no sé cómo sería. Ah, um, I shouldn't Self. take medicine Self. without asking a doctor. Okay. I shouldn't, uh, I shouldn't, I should not take medicine without asking a doctor because I need to ask a doctor. Okay. No sé quién le va a dar. Uh -huh. Ay, mira. Another recommendation or suggestion? I should uh, take a tablet uh, of vitamin C. What is it? Excuse me. I I should take vitamin ah, C. Vitamin, vitamin Z. Okay, nice. I should take vitamin C. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Take and tablets, vitamin C. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the last uh, recommendation, yeah. 
I should. Um, should not. Uh -huh. Travel. Uh, Italy. Country. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. To an infected country. Infected country. Uh -huh. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Okay, I should not travel to an infected country. For example, there are some cases in the United States or Costa Rica or Panama, you know, there are some cases there. However, I mean, you just need to be careful, okay? You just need to be careful, wash your hands. You should, um, yeah, you should take some vitamins, okay? And you should relax, okay? Because it is only for the people that have, uh, you know, their, their defenses a little low. So, I mean, you should just medicate, you know, uh, take some vitamin, vitamins and drink a lot of water, okay? And drink a lot of water, okay? So, that, those are really, really nice recommendations, people, okay? So, uh, do you have any questions about can and should? No. No? Okay, just let me show you the exercise that you have on the platform, okay? Just let me uh, show you, uh, I think it is the last exercise that we have in the platform, yes, okay? Which is about should and should, shouldn't or uh, can or can't, okay? For example, you have in total, let me see, five, uh, five small conversations, okay? For example, you are going to complete it using can or can't or should or should. Cinco ml son. Depending, uh, depending on the on the what? depending on the on the on the sentence. Okay, for example, letter A, I decide where to go on my vacation. Okay, I can or I can't decide. You need to select the best one. Okay, and then you go to the next one. Ah, uh, you should or shouldn't go to India. It's my favorite. <coughs> okay, so I mean, it is very simple. You just need to select. The correct one, if it's affirmative or negative. Okay. So that's the exercise that we have for should and shouldn't, or can and can. Okay. So thank you so much, everybody. Thank you so much for making the time, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Okay. And don't forget to practice okay, teacher, bye. this platform. Okay. Bye bye. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. bye, teacher. bye. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow.